air conditioning. So I uh, wanted to maximize the number of solar panels I had on the roof. So I chose to put an air conditioner unit in the van. Whether or not this was a good choice or not is questionable, let's say. It's big. It's going to take up a lot of room. Um, since, since making this decision, I, I've noticed that there are uh, 12 and 24 volt split systems uh, that are specifically made for uh, RVs where you can put the, uh, the fan hot side down underneath where the uh, wheel would go uh, for your spare tire. Anyway, that said, I chose this, uh, this unit. I think he's sized correctly for the square footage of the van and uh, he can remove two liters of water from the air. If you go to humid places, sometimes at night the temperature is fine. You can sleep if if it weren't, you know, so incredibly humid. It has a uh, unit that you can take out. This thing comes out for your remote control. And then in the back, it's got um, two uh, two hoses. You can see them sitting there. Uh, those two hoses are intake which is on this side, on the right side, and exhaust over here. And then it's got a water line that uh, dumps any uh, moisture buildup in the tank. Uh, then uh, above that, you have a filter, and you have uh, the inside air intake, and then the cold air comes out the top. So just looking at some of the stats here, it's a thousand watts of power I think I've clocked this doing maybe 1200 watts I think the thousand watt I don't know where they got that number 65 pounds no 68 pounds anyway I have a 3000 watt inverter and I did some calculations to this was one of the major uh, things that sized my electrical system so for our van, we decided we did not want to have propane. We were, we were just going to go completely electric. You can see, uh, here's our battery selection for version 2.0. We have four 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries and two 24, 50 amp hour batteries. That gives us a total of 7,200 watt hours. It's a thousand watts and, uh, that would give us approximately 7.2 hours of runtime, assuming that that uh, air conditioner were running full tilt. Um, I'm assuming that if it gets down to temperature, that this uh, these watts would drop. To charge these batteries back up, I have three panels of 315 watts a piece. Total rated watts is four 945. Uh, they do not ever deliver 315 watts, uh, so I said if you had a panel efficiency of 50%, actual watts would be more in the 400 range. If you had 7 hours of sunlight, usable sunlight, that would only get you to 3,300 watts, approximately, watt hours. So you can see if you ran this air conditioner all night, uh, the solar panels would not be able to completely recharge your system. We therefore have, an, we have alternator charging set up. We're going through a Sterling DC to DC converter, and that delivers 35 amps at 24 volts for another 840 watts per hour if you have the engine running. Other than that, we just have shore power. And if we have shore power, then we'll use that for our air conditioning. But uh, ideally, we would not want to, uh, we're not planning on having shore power. With that, let's take a look at the setup. Okay, looking in through the side, um, sliding door. I have two holes. Those two holes are for the air conditioner exhaust and intake. The far one is the exhaust hole. Um, and uh, the exhaust hole, the air that's in the exhaust is uh, superheated probably to like 150 degrees. And you can see probably that um, when I was exhausting the air before the hot air would rise and come back through the intake. So that's no good. 
Um, so I have to get that hot exhaust clear of the intake hole. To do this, I fashioned up this uh, uh, duct. I have a five inch collar on the top, adapted out to six inches. Um, and I flanged the, the top here so that these will bend over once they're up through the hole and I'll secure the, um, I'll secure it that way by bending those flanges. And I think you can kind of see it, um, the square vent on the bottom. I tried to keep it as low profile as possible. Anyway, I'll install this. We'll see how it looks. So there it is. <clears throat> the duct is attached to the under frame. There's like a lip there. And then the inside. And here's the inside, looking down. You can see, uh, not too bad. Um, definitely would rather not have the duct coming out of the bottom of the van, but uh, next is, I have screens in the top, but I think I need another screen down at the bottom. I think you um, cover your gutters with this stuff. I'm going to cut this, get it attached, and uh, spray paint it white so it matches the van and the, and the color of the duct. Looking at this gutter screen, you can see that there's a profile to it that allows it to kind of hang or be fastened to the gutter on one side. So I'm going to use that, um, that top lip there to, right, uh, uh, to hang this on the top of the duct. And then I've created wings on both sides that are about three inches long. And I'm going to wrap that around the back of the duct and then uh, screw that in to the duct itself to secure it. We have our uh, grill screen. I'm trying to get it where we can see it. So the, those leaves, leaves on either side. I've shaped them so that they'll wrap around and then once again it'll hang with this top lip. Um, let's put it on. Okay, you can see it's on there now. And it's hanging from the lip up on the top here. And then the ears wrap around and are screwed into the duct on each side. Of course, the duct goes up into the cargo area. So this this should be pretty effective at exhausting that hot hot air. One more look from the outside. You can tell something's going on there, uh, but uh, it's not it's not horrible. On this side, you can see the uh, S-bar heater exhaust as well. So, I don't think there's any way to get around it if you were wanting to have your air conditioner inside, like, uh, like I am. So there are the holes for the air conditioner. I wanted to show you the cabinet that the air conditioner is going to go in. Um, so this cabinet is going to be pushed back against the wall. I'm uh, getting ready to wire it up right now and finish off some of the details. Uh, but the air conditioner is going to go on this side. There's enough room, it's kind of purpose built for this and uh, all the tubes and the sides will be insulated uh, to keep the exhaust intake and exhaust heat out of the van. And then on the top of this cabinet there will be a uh, an upper cabinet and out that upper cabinet uh, is where the air will be drawn in and uh, exhausted back towards the bed so that's the full air conditioner plan